So I've been doing gymnastics since I was about two or three years old. Uh, my parents just took me to a local gym uh, and I've just enjoyed it ever since. I joined Tolworth when I was about five years old and I stayed there still to this day. Right, so this is my bedroom. Uh, you can see I've got some medals behind me on the wall. Uh, these date back to some of the first competitions I ever did uh, when I was about six years old up till now. Uh, so I've got my most recent achievement here. Uh, this is my uh, medal from the British Championships. Uh, I came first on the pommel horse uh, under 18. And then I've got some, some trophies and pictures on my wall, uh, on my drawers here. This one here is from the Northern Ireland, uh, Northern Irish Championships. Uh, I came uh, first place all round. By far, Worlds is going to be the biggest competition that I've ever done. And the next largest would have been the European Championships, which I did last year and, and the year before that. Um, but a world competition, there's, you know, there's going to be China, Japan, countries like that that I've only watched on TV, so it'll be amazing to see that. So obviously training with, with Kieran, um, he's my teammate, but he's also, he'd have to be the person I have to try and beat. Right. Well, Kieran's obviously got a lot of experience behind him. He, this will be his, his fifth World Championships and he's obviously got an Olympic Games behind him. Uh, so he's quite a seasoned competitor now. So, you know, I'm feeling fairly, fairly confident about his performance. Uh, for Jack, it's going to be his first World Championships. You know, he's a new guy to the team. Um, you know, his preparation is going really well. Uh, you know, it's good for him to get a bit of experience on that on that sort of stage, on that level, and uh, hopefully it's the start of a, a, a big career for Jack as well. We only started fully training together since I've been on my gap year, uh, so that's been about three or four months, which has been perfect for this world. Uh, and I think it has made a huge difference because it's it's literally just us in the gym during the day, uh, and we can really push towards the, our our own individual goals while we're there. I really look up to Kieran in, in our training. Uh, the commitment that he shows in every session is, is quite inspirational. You know, he, re he really does work hard. Uh, it's like no other person that I know. Uh, so I like to use that in my training. It's quite incredible what he's done despite everything in his past. Um, he's been through a lot of injuries, um, like a lot of injuries. But, uh, you know, yeah, you know, it's, it's certainly it's, it's changed how you would approach some of his routines. Possibly, you know, there's certain skills that you know he, he would have put in maybe before he had had certain injuries that you you look at not working in the routines anymore. Um, but you know, he's he's certainly quite a strong and determined character. So he's been able to you know work out mentally what he's happy to do and what he's not. when I was 10, um, so the first major thing that happened to me was um, I had a tumour in my left thigh, um, so I had um, had operation to have the tumour removed, um, luckily it was benign, um, but the operation went wrong, um, so I suffered from severe nerve damage. Still to this day, in the tip of my left big toe, I don't have feelings, so yeah, it's... Uh, that was, the, that was the first one. The sooner I was back in the gym, I was back out of the gym. Um, I suffered uh, from a severe head injury uh, when I was I think, about 12. Um, so I was on the, the high bar. Um, and I was just doing basic elements. So I was doing something called long swings or giants, um, which is I was going from handstand back round to handstand. Um, and I just freak accident, I just completely slipped off the bar and come back down on the bar on the back of my head um, and suffered brain damage. It was awful for, for me, it, like I, it was something I was just dealing with on a day-to-day -day basis, I didn't know any better and obviously being that young, my, my only ambition at that point was I just want to be a normal kid again, I just want to walk around though want to be able to look at things properly and, and, and things like that. But for my family and my friends and things like that, it was, it, was, it was pretty horrific because obviously I was told that I wouldn't get out of a hospital bed and that, that was it for me, I'd not walk again, let alone, let alone do gymnastics again. <laughs> 
Kieran as someone who's, who's who's been quite able to come back time and time again. So you know that's the credit to him really on on his mental ability and and in that you know we've been able to work around his his training to accommodate that. My family. I mean, to this day, I, I don't I don't know how my family sort of were able to keep sort of straight face to me because obviously behind closed curtains they're being told that your son is. It's very unlikely he's ever going to walk again, let alone be able to do anything athletic. Um, so for them to keep me, to keep holding back the tears and things like that, and just say to me, "Keep believing in yourself. Like you can eventually, you'll, you'll do it." Sometimes it's very hard to, to like look back and then and see from where I've, where I've come to, to what I'm doing now sort of thing. And, and that was actually something that hit me quite hard at the Olympics. New York Times wanted to do in, interviews with me and, and things like that and it was sort of, it, it sort of then that it dawned on me that yeah, I have been through a hell of a lot and it sort of all flooded back to me at, at once and I mean I remember to this day, like seeing my, as I walk, walked out into the arena, seeing my, my parents in, in the crowd, and it sort of just, yeah, every emotion and every sort of memory of what happened was was there. I suppose some people are naturally very, very fast, or or, or something like that. And I suppose my gift is I've got very good self-belief or determination. I suppose. Obviously, we're, we're flying very soon, um, so our final little preparations have been going really, really good. Um, we've been smashing our control comps and so like our practice competitions beforehand, and yeah, we think we, we feel good to go. We're excited. Yeah, yeah. These last few weeks, we've been doing tons of routines just every day, so we've been hitting those numbers, and I think that means we should be ready to just be confident in what we can do on the day and smash our routines. So the, the main aim for, for us as a team um, is that even though we're going out as three individuals, we're obviously going as, as Team Island. Just one that we'd say at every competition, that would be to, to go six for six. Um, which means that we've got to go, we've got to go clean, uh, try and execute every routine as possible. Just do the best that I can do and then you know, I can't be upset with that at all. The only thing that's impossible is to, to beat a man that never gives up and that's sort of my, my, my mentality and my focus and once you train your mind in that way, the body will take care of itself.